Welcome to Cult Camp, everyone. I am Extreme Elixir. This is Amaru, and this is the Werehog Muda. God, dude, I love Sonic Unleashed, dude. It's so good. What is being in this like weird campaign to try to gaslight everyone into thinking? Gaslight? Like, Sonic, I you don't know fucking beauty. like that game. What are you talking about? Oh I God. love Sonic Unleashed. Why it's... would I be playing it this long? You know what? This is this is the COVID special from South Park. You're literally doing this shit. <laughs> Just to mess with me, instead of a bitch. I'm not! I act, I'm playing it, like, legitimately. Like, I'm actually in the rounds of beating it. Dude, whenever you compliment no. a game too much, I know you're, you're fucking bullshitting. Okay? I'm, I'm, I mean, like, it's got a lot of amazing visuals to it. For anybody that hasn't played Sonic Unleashed, it was probably, like, the golden era of Sonic on the Xbox 360. And, like, it literally dropped <laughs> the same year as, like, Bioshock, Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, and, I mean, it, it was really out outshining them to be... Is, yeah, is, I mean, like, for real. Is it included in that conversation? Like, oh, shit, Metal Gear Solid 4, Fallout 3, boy, boy, Sonic Unleashed. Remember, remember when yeah. Sonic or Shadow the Hedgehog came out? Fucking, that game's good, uh, though. Yeah, that, that game's, game's good. Do you, remember, do you remember when fucking Sonic the Werehog came out? Like, it was as good, if not better, than the story of Bioshock. Man, I don't fucking. Uh, okay, so secret do you remember here. the story of Bioshock? I actually uh, haven't played Bioshock. Uh, I, I do. Bioshock? I do remember the story of Bioshock. Yeah. I, I literally some pedophile running around the fucking okay. underwater city hunting little girls. I guess. Yeah. All right, man. This is. That's are are you projecting game. right now? I know you're doing a lot of research into a certain individual, but. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> projecting, man. Projecting. No, dude, I'm just saying. It's like, that game was, you know, fucking, you just run around. That game gave, like, the worst, like, rewards or, like, the reasons. It's like, shit, do you want to kill this girl for, like, 200 extra, like, atom points or something? I'm like, no, I'm not a monster. <laughs> like, I'm not going to, like, I'm, all this effort just to get the worst ending imaginable? No, dude. I'll use, like, one less power through the course of the game. You know, what's fucked up is I actually kind of remember the story, and now that you say it. Your explanation makes a lot more sense. Yeah, yeah. You you are it's literally weird. running around in under underwater bunker essentially. Yeah, dude, you're rounding like, up literally children. In underwater, yeah. underwater Epstein Island, dude. It's a fucking weird game. <laughs> Basically, a 3D version of that Moonwalker game. Yeah. <laughs> you risk your kids. Well, you know, yeah. similarly to Muda trying to moon uh, gaslight us into loving, uh, you know, the Werehog. Okay. I, I happen I to remember I happen to remember a point in time and we never finished it. But I definitely still think this is a guilty pleasure of mine and part of today's topic. I tried yeah. gaslighting all of you into thinking that Operation Raccoon City was an at least decent game. It was. You <laughs> Here's the thing, it's <laughs> It's it was it came out in a time where Resident Evil was having the like weird identity identity crisis, crisis yeah uh, like they they didn't know what the fuck they wanted to do so oh shit Resident Evil two was popular let's let's try to do something with that and they they did that bizarre co op player with like the other hunk players like I, I don't know that that team was bizarre and that's the only time that team was ever mentioned. I, I don't know what, what the deal with that is. Well, that it's an, it's an, it's not, it's not even an alternative timeline. It's basically a, what if timeline, like what if the, yeah, bad it's a non-canon story. Non-canon story. Yeah, it's I essentially, it's essentially like what if, cause if I, if Fuck I remember you, right, you. by the way, <laughs> this is a spoiler, but this game is like 15 years old. So I don't give a shit. Uh, there is a point in, there is a point in the game where you can kill Leon. Oh, I remember that video. Yeah. You can actually kill Leon in Operation Raccoon City. And, you know, back when I was a kid, uh, I, I freshly got the PlayStation 3. One of the first things I ever bought was uh, Call of Duty. But one of... Which one? Which Call of Duty? I Black believe Ops I started with one. Wait, like, the original motherfucker? Yeah, yeah like it. Black Ops 1. I'm pretty sure oh, I played Oh, Black Ops with, 1, okay. I, was I, like, I thought I you played meant, like, Call original. of Duty 1. Well, Yes, it was Black Ops 1, yeah. because it wasn't World at War, I know that much. Okay. Um, but the, one of the games that I got really hyped for was Operation Raccoon City. We're because sold. edgy edgy little 15-year-old me was like, oh my god, what if I could kill Leon? 
No, also, I'm sure you saw those characters with like the red eyes and everything. Oh man, that that's like the coolest shit for any any kid in 2009. Okay, to be fair, what sold it for me, and it shouldn't have, was uh, just one of the characters' four eyes, because she shoots a dart that can turn the zombies into your allies. Oh, that's sick! I forgot. Like last time I played that game, I think it was with you guys. Yeah, it was. I yeah, we played it on the emulator. The, the emulator, worst part. Yeah, that was cool. Did we do it on the... I thought we did it on Steam, because I can't get yeah, the Steam No, because the servers anymore. are dead, bro. <laughs> you can't even play that game. You uh, can't even, like, buy it anymore, right? No. They exactly. took away Peak. They took away That's Peak. That's unfortunate, man. <laughs> you want to know, know what other Resident Evil game that we can't access anymore? Which one? The one that me and you did, Muda. Umbrella, Umbrella Corps. Corps. Umbrella Corps is dead? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, Bro, it's, it's, okay, it's, come on. What, what is blood yapping yeah, about? You knew that shit was dead as fuck. Come on. Hey, dude, we revived that for like two weeks. I'm sure the, the highest that game ever got in was when you guys did that video. Oh, absolutely. What was that, like eight, eight six, seven years ago? Or something? Uh, yeah, dude. God, that was like seven years ago. And like when we played it, about for two weeks after that, it doubled the amount of like active players on it. Well, I mean, multiplying by zero means that it's still zero, <laughs> but sure. Um, I mean, I, I, I can meme, I can meme all about it, but I was playing fucking Resident Evil Resistance back when uh, when that shit. Oh, broke. dude. Which I like the concept; it was cool, but then they did nothing with it, and I didn't even bother with that a reverse thing that they reverse, yeah. I don't know what reverse. That is, Re- I didn't bother with either one of those. Those look dumb. Dude, we should honestly me. whip out the reverse and max grind it. I still have the messy character on it. The messy character. I still character? have him. Yeah, dude. Oh, shit. Remember, I called him messy. <laughs> like, Let's go. Is it like Officer Piss? Please tell me. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Officer Piss. Nah, dude. Uh, you know, we were just talking about this, especially in the last podcast episode. How. I had never played Resident Evil 1, 2, or 3 original. Well, I've actually sat down and started playing Resident Evil 1. It, not the original, the remake. So you haven't played it then? And I'm still, gonna, I'm still going to say the tank control suck. I, still I just don't them. understand like how you can bitch this hard about tank controls. <laughs> because, dude, they're Some... unintuitive. They're unintuitive as fuck. Bro, they're unintuitive for like the first five seconds. When you're in the second corridor, you're already good. If you don't get the controllers by then, then that, that's a skill issue, man. I'm sorry. Nah, dude. I, I'm sorry. Dude, I, I don't understand. How is it difficult? Like, explain the difficulty of the tank controls. Yeah, I, I, need, to, I need to understand because this. Because nothing works the way you want it to. Nothing what works I mean? the way you want it to. You hold up, up to move forward, the left and right. Tank to the tank controls by themselves wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the fixed fucking camera angles. That's why you have tank controls. And yeah, I hate it. To, to navigate around those fucking fixed cameras, man. <laughs> They're awful. What you, I hate it. What do you what do you not want fixed camera angles? No, I hate fixed camera oh. angles. You know, dude, I, you're literally the most bitching I've ever heard in my life. Fixed camera angles, I'm dude. Just, I, he just wants like a first person shooter with a battle pass, Resident Evil. Dude. <laughs> oh, no, no. You know, Resident Evil 1 would have been so much better if it was actually a live service game, though. You know? That, that's yeah, honestly. Thing. You need the battle pass? Yeah, the zombie pack, dude. The zombie you pack. know what? Yeah. Unironically, Resident Evil 1 would have been better if it was built with the same controls as 5. Dude, it's a PlayStation 1 game. I don't understand what the fuck you wanted them to they do. do. You that. know what? There's plenty of games from back then. That didn't have as janky of controls as that as that did. Like what? Okay, like, like what? And you know what? There's a lot of pe- there's a lot of people that like to fucking say, you know, that was that was an intentional design, you know, to amp up the the uh, tension. Bullshit. I feel like that they made it intentionally janky, and then or they made it uh, janky unintentionally, and then they were like, you know what? It makes them it makes them panic a little more. I guess we'll leave it in. The thing is that Man, they could I love how play, when I was a kid. They could play sorry, they could play with the camera a little bit more with the scare. It's a scary game. So when you have fixed camera and you're walking around a corner that you cannot see what's on the other side, it makes you doubt. So when you fucking walk to the other fixed camera, you see, oh shit, there's a zombie right next to me. And yeah, they they play with that too. That's no. the design they had in mind. And I get that. And I feel like that they do utilize if with that being their intention, they utilize that correctly. Just from 
just from a feeling standpoint, the way the controls and everything feels, it feels janky as fuck. You're gonna feel it my feels, dude, it's how you get pre-rendered backgrounds. The PS1 can't render the fucking world. I, I don't know, man. We've seen examples. I played exactly. that fucking uh, scariest chase game that you told with Officer Piss, man. Yeah, that, man. that shit could yeah. render. That shit could render the world. Dude, don't you don't want me to bring experts to Saber for GBA, man? Come on. Yeah, dude, dude. I'm just saying, man. The tank control bitching makes no sense to me. Like it just, it's like you and Jordan as well. It's like you guys, like it take. If I as a kid can roll through one, two, and three, there's no reason why you as an adult cannot figure out the tank control. To be totally fair, Jordan is between me and Jordan. Jordan's the only one that's actually finished a uh, tank control Resident Evil game. Yeah, I was there. In Vegas. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll give him that credit. He's the only one that's done it. And even he will say, he's like, yeah, it's it's janky. It doesn't feel great. Yeah, but also we're talking about Jordan. Come on. I mean, to be fair, I we did watch him fuck around for 20 minutes one night. Uh, incorrectly installing an emulator. That shit was like, oh, man. Oh, you don't have the fucking right to bitch about fucking Dude, emulator installs. Shut the fuck off. Fuck up. you. You are such a Dude, fucking asshole. Unlike him, unlike him, I have emulators on my Steam Deck, on my phone. Yeah, because have... you literally have to, You all you have to do is, like, press yes a few times on a script. <laughs> yeah. I have I have yeah. an emulator on my uh, NES, or SNES Mini. I have emulators on my PC. Like, I don't want to fucking hear it. I have plenty of experience with emul- emulators. I'm just too fucking lazy to deal with them. And yet it was such a battle to get you to fucking get Duck Station to work. You're Bitch, how the fuck can you right. be lazy? You're sitting on your ass in front of a fucking keyboard and mouse. Yeah, <laughs> guess what? I have other games in front of me that I can play that don't take that effort. What are the other games? Please list these other games. Are they in the room with us? Like Where I, are they? Like what I, are the other games? Like I, okay, <laughs> Duck Station. I could have just played the Steam version of uh, Final Fantasy VII. Is it inferior? Yeah, but I didn't have to go through any downloads. I literally... Bro! You literally had to copy one file into it! Oh my god, bro! He's like, it's so difficult. Oh my god! The whole thing was to get that authentic experience of like, oh, you gotta get up and switch the disc on this. You you really don't have to. You just gotta click a few buttons. You gotta click a few buttons, that's it. Like, that's just it. Dude, I'm telling you, when it comes down to it, 90% of it is lazy. That's what it is. 90% of me and emulators is just being lazy and being like, yeah, but I have this version over here that I don't have to do any of this for. Is that the same reason why you suck at tank control games? Probably. It like, now that you have, much. like, for example, I know that it's tank controls and everything, but it's still a great game, Resident Evil 2. Oh, original. I'm not going to say it's not great. It's just, it's not for me. Yeah, but now you have, like, a, a new version with the remake, which is, which is I, I think it's my favorite Resident Evil game, to be honest. Which but one? But I still the, the remake. Resident Evil Two remake. Uh, yeah, yeah. Two remake. But I yeah. still say like, okay, I think you get a different different experience if, if you played uh, two original. Well, that's same with They're three. Three is the outlier games. because three remake is not three original. They're they're two yeah, different three games. remake is fucking garbage. Dude, <laughs> shut the fuck. I up. wouldn't call it garbage. I do. Oh yeah. I okay. It. What would you call it? Tell me. Tell, right. tell me what you call a game when the fucking biggest goddamn fucking amazing section of it just gets Dude, straight up yoinked out. Call okay. it a downgrade, you know to be honest, but not yeah, a garbage. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You want to you want to sit here and bitch about that? Guess mm-hmm. what? Resident Evil Four yeah. remake had basically the entire castle neutered out of it, save for the water hall. Which thank you because I hated castle. What was yes. really that taken out of the castle, though? What, what literally, was that literally removed? The old, if, basically, the one part of the castle that they kept was Waterhall. They ca- they yeah. kind of they still do a sewer section. You obviously start out in the castle now and work your way to the village instead of starting at the village and working your way to the castle. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know they they uh, completely skip over. They still have the Navistador section. They still have the garden section. Uh, they don't have the, uh, what is it called? The uh, statue section. 
where you're uh you got the big uh statue of um what the hell's the small Salazar. person's name Salazar. Uh, oh, I'm sorry they removed the fucking 50 foot tall statue. Oh man, what a national tragedy that, that section that was. That added dude. a lot to the game, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, man. dude. Oh man, um, that made me piss myself. Yeah, but uh, the, at the same time, you cannot compare it with what they took out of Resident Evil 3. Uh, it's like, oh yeah, the clock towers. Yeah, it's in the background when you have that shitty ass fight with Nemesis. From my understanding, and I could be wrong on this, I was under the impression that the clock tower was not a substantial section of 3. Dude, it's literally no, when you get to heal. Yeah, you're Jill. pretty wrong on that. Yeah, it's a that, fucking that show. entire thing in the hospital that they reused again because of the, the hospital section when you have to cure Jill. That yeah. happens in three, but in the clock tower, you don't you don't go to a hospital. Okay, then why you does could it matter? fact check that thing? They technically if you play the game, the same, motherfucker. They still yeah. technically have the framework of what was in the clock tower. Oh, the just framework. In a different they got the framework. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. What, what framework? You didn't even play fucking RE3 original. How the fuck would you know it was in the clock I tower? You, you watch a speedrun or something, I don't know. What yeah, I have, absolutely. Of I course have. you have. But, yeah, there was nothing from the clock tower in the fucking actual final game. Okay, but like he no, said, no, the section... nor the gardens. Yeah. Okay, I know. I don't know anything about the gardens. I can say that right now. But I don't hear anybody bitching about the gardens not being in the game. Uh, what do you, t- motherfucker, what do you have, like, fucking selective hearing or something? Yeah, people have been bitching about it. <laughs> what? I don't know what you're talking about, man. I, know I bitched is. about it. Yeah, no yeah, it was, a, it, was, it was the year of the pandemic, dude. The, the yeah, pandemic dude. was just starting, but yeah, we could notice that shit, man. <laughs> well, yeah, because he had nothing better to do. It was the pandemic. Yeah, absolutely. Man. No, I, I, for... For my personal thing, I I kind of waffle between uh, 2 Remake and 4 Remake being my favorites. But there's something about 2 Remake that's just done fucking right. They did, yeah. they did, they did 2 Remake so damn good. I don't know where I just, like, remember this image of, like, going through the, the dark hallways of the police station with Leon. Like, it just, that image just pops in my head. I'm like, wow, that's really cool. I should replay it again. Yeah, it happens from time to time, and I get weirdly enough, I get the same feeling of that with Alan Wake too. Oh, interesting! I get the same feeling like that. It's such a good one. Alan it's, Wake Two is pretty good. It's fucking funny how you mentioned uh, about the the Resident Evil game because I remember I never had a PlayStation One growing up. I only have a fucking Sega Genesis. I'm a third world dude. Well, I, yeah, I've, I don't know. I've never owned a PlayStation One myself. Um. I never played Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3. I heard, I kept hearing about them. I could never play them, though. It wasn't until 2012. You know what made me play Resident Evil? You know what made me a fan? Yeah, it was 6, yeah? You... It was the trailer for 6. I saw the trailer for 6. That That's was so it, gross. This, this was February, I think. The game was released in, like, December or November. I don't remember. But I remember seeing the trailer. I was like, wow, this is really fucking cool. But I don't know anything about Resident Evil. Maybe I should play all the games. And I did just that. And then 6 came out. And you were really <laughs> disappointed. <laughs> it was fucking well, the thing about the thing about 6 that, that, like, honestly, it was a very underrated experience for the Resident Evil franchise, to be real with you. Like, people bitched about it when it came out, but, like, three campaigns, you actually want, four. You want me to tell globe you what, trotting. What What I think, honestly, I think most people... If they only played Chris and Leon's campaign, I don't feel like they might bitch as much as they do. I genuinely think it's uh, Jake and Sherry's campaign that ruins it. They try to do a lot because you have the the full scary setting with the Leon campaign. You have the yep. full shooting shit with Le- uh, with uh, Chris, and for some reason they wanted to like shoehorn this fucking nemesis thing again with the Yusanak and whatever. Yep. And then you have uh, Agents Campaign, which is the best one. Uh, but no, I mean, I I don't think it's horrible. I enjoyed it. It's really it's a really fun game to play with the bros. But at that t- at that point, I feel like the franchise was like, okay, we we need to like fucking hit restart somehow. Which thank God they did because seven is, in my opinion, seven seven, seven is franchise. fantastic. Seven saved the franchise straight up. I still see videos of like people reacting to the reveal trailer. Yep. 
And it, it was such a surprise because it was so radically different from everything before that people were like, yep. they were finally Evil, like, going yeah. back to survival horror. Not only that, but it didn't even look like a Resident Evil game. That was the best part. People were like, what? Resident Evil? It, it was, I, I still watch videos like people reacting to that. It's, it's really fun. Like you guys know, I, I actually did speed runs of uh, Resident Evil 7. Yeah, I could smell you from here. I think I'm. I think <laughs> I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just, just kidding, outside just of the top hundred or whatever on it, and there are so there are a lot of people who seem to bitch about it, and I don't understand it. Of oh, seven, yes, there's a lot of people who hate seven, and I'm like, did you want another six? Is that what you were looking to get? And they're like, know. well, no, but like, I wanted them go to go back to like one and two, and it's like, dude, this is as good as you're getting. And then they made re- remake two, uh, the two remake, and I was like, okay, there you go, stop, stop bitching and crying. Yeah, now we're get, going through a point where we have like two versions of Resident Evil running at the same time. We got the yeah. the main series that's still going. They haven't rebooted that. It's still, but it's now a first person. Uh, experience and the remakes that are pretty good Mm -hmm. oh yeah dude i does it feel weird that we're in a timeline right now where five remake is very likely around the corner in the next like two years fucking crazy because i fucking remember when that game like came out it was like wow it was the newest game when when they start remaking games that i remember when they came out that's when it hits me (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> right. I remember when that shit came out. Well, I like, still... I remember 2011 playing that shit on the... No, 2011, it was 2013, playing that shit on the PS3 with you, Muda. Dude. Yep. Yeah, that that's what's wild to me. And I, I love what they've done with the remakes up to this point, where they focus on something. Maybe 3 Remake is uh, kind of a sore point for some people. I liked it. I really loved the four remake. Of course, when you don't have a reference of three. But I genuinely am. <laughs> true. I'm it's genuinely true. curious to see what route they take with five, because five isn't like anything that they've done up to this point. You that they really keep... leaned into the action. You think they're gonna keep the co-op? They gotta keep the co-op. They right? gotta keep the co-op. That's that's the game's identity. I hope they remove it just so I can see the bitching online. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the only thing you want. You, you want to see everything just set on fire. <laughs> dude, I love that, dude. Right dude, dude, dude. I love Unleashed! <laughs> the, first, the first reintroduction of Sheva. Yeah, you can't play her, by the way. Dude, I, dude, you know what would be wild? If you just, like, retcon and remove her? Because it's not like a user in the other <laughs> franchise. Dude, like, do, you know how many, do you know how many fan bases that would piss off simultaneously? Yeah, dude, you would, I don't they, know, they would, bro. They wouldn't dude. be able to use her model to make porn. What the fuck? Dude, that I would, don't know, that bro. Would, that would fuck up the uh, porn industry. That would fuck up the fucking uh, the people who love Resident Evil 5. And that fucks up the feminists all in one swoop. <laughs> Oh my fucking god! I don't remember did no. Oh yeah, Resident Evil. <laughs> women, when I was gonna say, women have always been in Resident Evil, so it's not like they ever had a reason to get uppity about well, it. Yeah, they're iconic. Yeah, like Jill Valentine, fucking Claire Redfield. Like I would look, like, I would love a game, like a that new focused game. Focused on like, them. Yeah, like I, I remember we have Revelations. Well, isn't that basically what Zero was... is? Zero. What? No, Zero is just for Rebecca. You you never played yeah. Zero? No, of course you haven't. It's, it's technically I've, no, I've, Zero. I've watched I've watched uh, I've watched uh, videos on that one. Oh no! I've, you know what? Th- <laughs> that's one I, I refuse Zero. to touch. It's like where people say, "Oh man, you play Resident Evil Zero? Yeah, I played uh, the Dark Side Chronicles version of. It. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that's Muda's favorite game. Dude, I love light gun shooters, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's the shit. <laughs> That's the only game where you like get to play as Chris and Jill at the same campaign at the same time. Dude, I'm just saying, man. I mean, like Resident Evil shit. Like you got like, I don't understand. Like, again, with the tank control stuff, like I don't get it. I don't understand it. But with RE5, I really, I don't know. I think they're probably gonna cut out the co-op. They're gonna cut out all they're the fucking. They're not gonna shadow. cut out the co-op. They can't. Think that they can. Like, yeah, they they can. That's the iconic. I don't know, man. That's the iconic part of it. What about, well, people are talking about Remake of 5, but what about 
like uh, the other big one is people want a remake of Code Veronica. I'm like, sure, okay, why not? But this might be a little a tad too much. But how about just another remake of the first game, which is I kind agree. of insane because we are dude, we don't need dude. We really want them to do remake, remake, oh, yeah, <laughs> remake so square. We're gonna, <laughs> yeah, they're gonna they're gonna turn into Naughty Dog now if they do that. That's the thing. <laughs> I, I but don't know, dude. the thing I is think... that, how about you also add the zero campaign to that? Just make like a big whole game with like two big whole campaigns. I, I, yeah. I personally, I think uh, one remake makes a lot of I sense. I miss Billy. I miss Billy Cohen, dude. Moria's favorite character. You know what I just thought about? <laughs> huh? Resident Evil 6 is like if you put a uh, Resident Evil skin over Army of Two. Oh my god, remember that shit? I played the second one, I remember. Oh, I know you and Muda sat down and played uh, uh, Army of Two. The like, Devil's Cartel? The third, yes, get Devil's yeah. Cartel. Yeah, bro, I we couldn't get past like level two, I swear to God. Oh, it's trash. I know it's trash. Yeah, and this is the same two guys that beat Kana Lynch 2. <laughs> Doge days, dude. dude. That game was fucking lit. No, but I, I don't know. I think the co op, may, maybe they might keep it. I feel, I don't know. They're going for the horror shit now. I don't yeah. know if you can really have horror with cooperative. Yeah, but like with like the remake. Dude, they don't use Sheva. Have you seen Sheva in the newest Resident Evil games? Dude, well, they yeah, but never they, use... they, they never use any of the other characters. Have you seen fucking Jake? Have you seen fucking Billy? Uh, have yeah, you seen... Jake was in Seven. Have Dude, you seen Jake Carlos? Was... Jake, Jake, was... Was... Shut the fuck Jake was in Seven because you Where? used a sperm. To... You use a sperm in the gun to shoot the fucking big and like Aunt Rody or whatever the fuck her name is, dude. You mean Rody? Aunt... Yeah, dude. Aunt Rody. That's the song. Yeah, dude. dude. There's yeah, well, like, whatever you, Eveline, you shoot her. You, that's dude, what the bullshit. what the fuck is in the Albert Albert gun? It's his cum or whatever. That's the whole point. <laughs> dude, no, dude, that was, that's, that's, dude, that's not at all. This from the 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 fucking cum zone. That's where he was at. No, sure, they went <laughs> they went back to the volcano and retrieved whatever was left of Wesker. Bitch, how the fuck are you gonna fish out a goddamn dude from a volcano? No, no, no. I know that. Not yeah, that, but I do that got like a fucking RPG missile blew his fucking head off. Like, yeah. Like, wait, hold on. I just, no, no, see, this doesn't make any fucking logical sense oh, now. We're going to talk about the logic of Resident Evil. Yeah, actually, yeah. we have to. That was definitely Jake. I don't that was think Jake's so. blood or whatever the fuck it was. It was not we It was not Albert Wesker. Just because they called the Albert Wesker. How the fuck are you going to fish a dude out of a goddamn like lava lake? Well, maybe Dude, all he was like clones. I don't fucking okay, know. All man. I'm gonna say here. Oh, now we're now we're mentioning the fucking TV show from Netflix. Well, oh. no, because you know what? They, uh, what was Resident Evil Five? Two thousand nine. At that point, Alexis Wesker was alive. They maybe they have the same genes. I don't fucking know, man. Dude, I'm I'm. Just, oh yeah, that's actually a good point. Fuck. There you go. Whatever though, okay? Like Jake made Albert Wesker's not fucking alive. And why are we even discussing this point? Okay, fuck that shit. The Netflix show. All right, get out of here. No, but I mean, like for real though. It's like yeah, at the end of the day, you know, fucking whatever, whatever comes out of Resident Evil storyline. Maybe they might do co-op with Five. I'd be more interested with them like remaking Outbreak or something. That would be fucking oh, cooler. Outbreak, actually, yeah, that would be really cool. I, dude, I maintain the fact that. I personally, I like Outbreak One and uh, Outbreak Two. But you don't like tank controllers. No, no but here's which the like thing. Outbreak. Here's the thing. I don't like Outbreak's uh, controls by any means. They're fucking. They're awful. They're honestly worse than the than uh, Resident Evil One. But it was like, it hands down, it's the most difficult of all. Of the Resident Evil games, Outbreak, it's, dude, it's pretty it's annoying. Brutally, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's made for like cooperative play dude, or something. Dude, yeah. it is literally so fucking difficult that just laying on the ground. Well, I mean, we've discovered that it's level. difficult for you to fucking operate in a fixed camera environment. <laughs> dude, so I don't really dude, know what's like. I was <laughs> about to say we could like record a playthrough or something, but like, yeah, I forgot. Oh wait, it's gonna be if like, you two if you lay down, down on the ground. Dead. Literally laying down yeah. on the ground in that game causes your infection rate to rise. Yeah, because you're supposed it's to use like it sparingly. You're not supposed to like fucking lay on the ground all the time. You gotta use it strategically. 
Yeah, well, guess what? It makes no fucking sense that laying on the ground ups my virus level. Well, the, the, Boy, the, how, the fuck, how the fuck do you know what the goddamn virus is like? Maybe it operates faster if you're fucking laying on the ground. Have you seen uh, Have you seen any of the main characters like stay in the ground for more than a yeah. few seconds? Dude, I don't Chris know. is in stars, motherfucker. You see him crawl on the ground? Because he knows shit. Because he's smart. Because he's got he... that innate genes okay, by that going logic, on. By that logic, Leon should be fucked because he had to crawl underneath a uh so many different fucking things in the raccoon pd look i'm just saying it's a time limit in a fucking Swarm. video game all right Swarm. forget about it. it's a time limit in the goddamn <laughs> video game we don't need to fucking extend it that hard look at the end of the day all right outbreak whatever they, i would rather be more interested if they made like a third file to that like something because i feel like that's kind of what they did with the um the reverse or whatever the fuck they were making. Oh yeah. They were kind of trying to go for that, but they had to make it like some competitive shooter or like <laughs> they had to make it asymmetric. Shit. Yeah. They had to make it shit. Yeah, exactly. It's like One we thing... have some we have gold, but let's cook some shit up, I guess. <laughs> One thing that I miss about Resident Evil games is that at least with one, two and three, they all like follow just one story. I kinda miss that just instead just of having multiple perspe- perspectives. No not only multiple perspective, but just like a new game is basically another location with just tiny references to the last game. I kind of wish we have something big. Like, okay, oh, like you got the first actual... one. Yeah, you had the first one in the mansion and everything. Second game, it's a town over right next to the mansion when they reference, oh shit, the mansion incident and everything. It's something important that happened and affected what's going on. And three, it's literally just happening before, during, right. and after. Two. It literally, it li- literally, it's they. All just one big story. But then four is like. they happen. Yeah, four, it's just like, okay, we're in Spain. Five is like, okay, we're in Africa. Six, we're fucking anywhere. Like, I just miss that just one cohesive story with, like, little things from the previous games. You know, I actually do kind of agree with that because how jarring must it have been for people who are huge fans of one, two, and three to then go and Resident Evil 4 comes out and suddenly... Almost nothing from the previous games carried over. To be honest, it kind of worked in their favor because 4 just fucking wrecked it. The gameplay was just so polished that people didn't really care that much, to be honest, I think. Yeah. Which is unfortunate because... it. it I mean, when you change up from going to the T-Virus or the uh, T-Abyss virus or whatever, mm-hmm. uh, whichever virus they happen to be fucking trying to ram down our throats to all of a sudden yeah this is an ancient plaga that was trapped beneath a rock yeah that got excavated out and suddenly uh everybody gets a plaga rammed down their throat and we're s- somehow the entirety of spain isn't taken over it's just a that village. was fucking weird I-, I didn't like that thing i was like oh shit it's actually a plan that we discovered or somewhere i i, I didn't like that that too much yeah, they were they were dormant for thousands of years, being thousands uh years being safeguarded dormant. by the Castellian family. Castellian, I actually forgot about that shit. <laughs> uh, dude, I hundred percented Resident Evil Four, both times. Wait, you don't like the new Redcon? What's mm-hmm. uh? I'm pretty sure they're fairly identical between. Yeah. Them. I mean, it makes sense with how Resident Evil 8 ended, with the Metamycete or whatever the fuck it was. Oh, see, I didn't... I haven't played Village yet. <laughs> Shut up, you're playing something unleashed! <laughs> oh Don't my god, dude, you didn't even play fucking Village, though, No, dude. I haven't I haven't gotten around to Village I quite yet. I, haven't, I, I, have I will to. be... It is... It's on my short list this year to get to, because I do know... That the uh, Mega Mice I've read a lot of stuff about Village, and I know about the Mega Mice and how it ties into Seven, but also ties into Four. And there's just a lot of I I know that it helped that uh, Village helps uh, Four make more sense, but regardless, Village of- literally retcons the whole franchise. Really. Yeah, like, oh, that's so... the whole point of the ending. It literally retconned it all. Oh, yeah, I, I guess, you... at this point, I'm just gonna fucking spoil it. You guys mind a spoiler, I guess? Go for hey, it. It's fine, go for it. 
Okay, so at the end of the game, like, you guys seen the trailer with the umbrella logo, right? Like, yep. in the village? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the whole point of the game is, is that Oswald Spencer, the guy that made fucking Umbrella Cor Corporation, went over here to this town, met up with, like, uh, fuck it, what was it, the uh, crazy Mia, the... The fucking, you know, the chick, the the, the boss character, kind of the end. The sh she's like a shapeshifter. Yeah. She's been alive for hundreds of years. She's the one that taught Spencer all of the stuff. Right. And he created the T virus based on what was discovered in this village a long time ago. Yep. And the hub of all of this was the Metamycete, like it, or whatever yeah. that was revealed. So essentially, the Megamycete is basically the uh, the uh, progenitor to everything. You know what? I kind of prefer the, the flower field in 5. That sounds awful. You're telling me that this fucking character that lived hundreds of years fucking has the secrets to, like, fucking whatever, making the viruses and, or everything? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so and Ethan was dead through the whole, whole game. Yes. Ethan Ethan has apparently been unmolded the entire time. Yeah. But apparently he was, um, apparently he was a molded that cared. Oh, dude, holy shit. That sounds awful. Oh, yeah, no, dude, it's a shit franchise. It, not, they they reckon, I do here. remember. Yeah, let's not pretend like they had the best story anyways. I don't know, man. Those uh, those uh, uh, movies that they keep releasing, those are pretty banger. Oh, they man. have a great story. We, we watched all of them, didn't we? No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. We watched no, we all haven't. Of them. We haven't we watched, yet. What, what we did stopped, we not watch? We stopped after. Dude, you guys haven't even seen the uh, Death Island one. Oh, I'm not talking about the animated ones. I'm not talking about the good ones. I'm talking about oh, shit, Cal. I'm talking about you're shit. Talking, you're talking about the... Uh, uh, Paul Jovovic, Anderson movies. The Jovovic ones. The, um, the one the that bangers, has... Uh, the bangers. No, 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 the one that has the girl from, uh, from uh, Fast and the Furious who can't show an emotion. Oh, yeah. Michelle Rodriguez, dude. Be yeah. What you say about her. Come on. Dude, she's a... I, I love her. I really do. To be honest, the first movie was like the most interesting because it like acknowledges what happened in the game, but it was just in another place. It was happening in another place. I mean, it was definitely in an umbrella lab. But then they just say, "Fuck it, let's just throw Leon and Chris and Barry." And I'm and I'm pretty sure that uh, that house that they were under was supposed to be like an Arclay Mansion or something. Supposed to be something like that. Uh, I just I, I know that. Do you remember? I mean, it's been a while, but do you remember that they, they, they had this character that got like infected at the end of the first one? I think it was. Yeah, and he it was turns just into uh, Nemesis. I think into the Nemesis project. It was like, what yeah, the fuck? this is a random dude that just. Like, well, yeah, the entire so yeah, the entire facility has zombies and liquors in it, and uh, I'm pretty sure it has some Cerberus in it. Um. But apparently, one of the liquors like fucking gets them, and then at the end of the movie, you just see them strapping him down to a gurney, as he has like tentacles coming out of his arm. And then in the next in the next movie, it's a big plot point that like he apparently has enough of his brain function left to be like, oh, don't hurt her, she's cool. No man, I cannot. I cannot do it without fucking movies because they they were so fucking insane. I fucking hate the movie franchise. I was like brushing up a little bit. I hate the the zombie movie franchise. Like Resident Evil is not a series that like needs to be set in a post apocalyptic world. I don't know why they do that. I don't know the Netflix TV set. show. No, no, the, I agree. The movies in the Netflix. TV I show I does feel the like same. I feel like a yeah. I feel like that should be uh more of like a pre apocalyptic like these events are happening and certain certain elements or entities are working towards either trying to make the world end or not make the world end. Yeah, we're trying to save the fucking world. Don't tell me we fucking failed. Exactly. That's I think that's what really sucks about the uh, live action Resident Evil movies is that it's just like, oh, cool. Everyone's dead except for this small little group of survivors and one crazy bitch that apparently has uh, telekinetic abilities. That was the shittiest part because, like, they sparse also, like, gang characters out of nowhere. And I remember just seeing a dude that played, I think, Leon. But he looked like... like oh, he, he looked so dumb. Wearing a cosplay. Every every character that, like, 
plays a video game character just look like they're wearing a cosplay and like a bad one. It just they look they look very loosely fit. like they belong in that role. They doesn't they don't fit at all. And I, I actually I think also the actress who played Ada had to be ADR. All of her lines had to be ADR because the the, the actress I think it was uh, Asian. And he didn't have a good, uh, it had like a really thick accent. And they have to like just <laughs> double of her lines. Oh, man, no. Well, Mood, I think me and you might be the only ones here who watched the new Resident Evil movie. Or was it the movie or the TV show? We watched Welcome, the new Welcome movie. to Raccoon City, that one. You, you guys watched the show. I didn't watch that shit. I watched the show, yeah. Me, I think me and Muda sat down and watched Welcome to Raccoon City. Which, uh, boy, was that a ride. It had Claire that didn't look like Claire. Leon that didn't look like Leon. The Netflix TV show is based as fuck, dude. They did not give a fuck about the franchise at all. (laughs) They literally were just like, bro, let's just... Let's make anything and then just put Resident Evil in it. Let's see how we make money. Was it, was it even a, did it even have zombies in it? No, what are you watching it? Uh, I mean, to be fair, Resident Evil hasn't had zombies in it since fucking three original, so... Bro, he's struggling to remember yeah. anything from the show. <laughs> no, I'm no, remembering. I remember the lie. fucking... Because, like, so the show, it takes place, like, um... It takes place in the same universe, like, the same timeline as the games. Um, so apparently after six, seven, and I assume eight, actually, if you factor <laughs> in the timeline, it's still... Dude, this is what... Like, somehow in the Resident Evil timeline, just think about it like this... They have had, like, fucking... Okay, forget four. Spain got fucked up? Cool, that's a small little, like, town that got fucked with zombies and shit, right? Resident Evil 5, Africa, whatever. We can... You know, something fucked up happened. Nobody in the world's talking about it. Fucking China in 6 gets fucking wiped <laughs> by a zombie virus. The president gets fucking killed. Twin Oaks is on fucking fire. Okay, there is a there is a fruit fly national security director you fight in Neo Umbrella headquarters, and you're fucking telling me no one in this universe talks about it. Like th- th- the next day, there's not one YouTuber in the Resident Evil universe who's like, "What's up, guys? Remember that time in China when the fucking zombies invaded? Are you fucking crazy? Like." insanity right so like fucking <laughs> then they've got the netflix show dude they never reference six they never re- like dude you think of this universe that i'd be sitting back it's like we talk about covid right like oh shit remember that one thing that happened you think people in this universe would be like a vaccine bro let's line the, let's pre-order the vaccine because remember the fuck happened in china what the fuck happened in the united states pandemonium the whole country almost stopped functioning so anyways in the new show it takes place after all of these cataclysmic world events and apparently it's like a company town that they made in south africa like the new raccoon city like it's actually raccoon city but like a new company town umbrella fucking umbrella is back in the picture dude how the fuck does this company get to operate again <laughs> like no no no, no like realistic this point. <laughs> no like like real okay and you know what the fucking funniest thing is Amari? they have blue umbrella in the games which is like a pmc yeah, literally existing yep, yep. just to stop the bad shit umbrella did <laughs> and at the same time the writers were like oh wait maybe we should bring umbrella back as a pharmaceutical company Talk, are you fucking insane? And this is the same universe as the games. Same universe. Same exact universe. They literally... Okay, so the funniest thing is, so Wesker in the show is like Lance Riddick, so he's the black guy, right? And people are wondering, like, how the fuck is he like Wesker? They had clones of Wesker. They even referenced the fucking... They're like... Because there's an there's a episode where, like, they start peeking into, like, the past, because, like, the girls are, like, wondering what the history of Umbrella is. So they, like, start peeking into the files, and they reference the volcano death for Wesker. Oh, my God. Because they explain why Wesker isn't the same Albert Wesker from back then. So... This is the fucking lore. This is the story explanation. And the whole time I'm watching it, I'm like, bitch, how the fuck is this company allowed to operate? We very... Remember the beginning of Resident Evil 4? Yeah, Umbrella stock tanked. Uh, they got fucking... Dude, they... Dude, think... Actually, what am I saying? This universe has something even wilder. They fucking nuked Raccoon City! <laughs> Dude, could you imagine? Ima- Dude, could you imagine back in like the late '90s if they fucking nuked Chicago? 
Bro, we'd be talking about it today. <laughs> we would literally be talking about her. Man, dude, I really hope we don't get fucked. If COVID happened right now and we were living in the Resident Evil universe, dude, we'd be like, a cough? Who gives a shit? We live in a world with fucking infected zombies. Like, I just find find it really funny that this is supposed to be like a reality, but at the same time, it's like, oh man, you won't believe it. Your father died in a volcano (laughs) with that (laughs) RPG shot through his head. It's fucking insane when you really think about it. And like the, the like the thing is like okay if you don't know the Resident Evil show like whatever who gives a shit like you're not going to be that attached you won't understand it but I'm sitting in this universe I'm like dude how are people normal and like if I lived in a world where fucking all of a sudden they had terminator running around the fucking streets like tyrant and shit I'd be scared dude I'd be pissing I'd be pissing and shit I'd literally have my pants filled with shit right now like no fucking joke I'd be fucking scared out every day of my fucking life beautiful because, yeah, In- like you just imagine yeah you just mentioned like imagine the in-universe youtube videos talking about like <laughs> the the explosion, like it, it's just this six months where they nuked another u.s town they yeah nuked china <laughs> they nuked a lot like of dude shit. Dude, they talk about, like, oh, dude, remember when Kennedy got assassinated? Bitch, remember when the president turned into a fucking zombie and Leon had to put a round in his head? Dude, that's going to be in a fucking textbook. That's, you know, that's what we should be talking about on this fucking show. Think about how fucked the Resident Evil universe actually really is. And then the fact that the writing team, and this is, I love this about Capcom and the writers, they don't retcon anything. They don't even, like, they're not even like, oh, maybe we should reboot the story. No, 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 no. It is the, I remember when 7 came out and I was bitching about the fucking story and like a bunch of idiots in the comments were like, oh man, don't you know they rebooted it? Bitch, no, no, where? no, no, no. I, where? I read the news report. Could you imagine sitting down reading a news report? It was 14 years ago that Raccoon City got nuked. Yep. Dude, I'm living in a country where another city gets fucking, Amar, you live in Buenos Aires? What's yeah. another city in Argentina? Uh, fucking, uh... Uh, Trileo. <laughs> Just imagine, like, man, I really wish I could have gotten that city before it got fucking nuclear bombed. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, and, and, like and, then, and then the whole China incident is wild, too. Like, I hate how they, like, oh, remember the China in They don't even reference that in 7. Dude, that happened a couple years before. If you told me an entire economic zone in China just had zombies running around. They sent in fucking nuclear missile payloads. The BSAA, U.S. government, was, like, sending in troops to... What? Like, that's what doesn't make sense in the universe. And then they forget about that in the TV show, in the fucking movies. It's like... Instead, they just make fucking frozen porn jokes. That's what they did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you're telling me they got 4chan? Dude, imagine 4chan in the Resident oh Evil universe, God, oh dude. God. Conspiracy Reddit would be going fucking insane. Did, and this is this is all I ever wanted out of, like, the fucking Resident Evil is to just acknowledge some of the absurdity, you know? Exactly. Like, That's you know, what I, I, like, I, I really appreciate the fact that these guys thought so hard about the story that they were like, how do we explain that Albert Wesker is live Fucking and black cloning, cloning man. Uh, the it, one that, sure died, the one that died to be in the, the same universe as the games. And you know, what's fucked up. I guarantee you that they're going to, if they ever had a second season, which they'll never get, uh, if they ever had a second season, they would try to convince you that the, that the Wesker that died in the volcano was also a clone and that the real Wesker is in a fucking bunker somewhere. Sure they were going to pull that in a game, dude. But I just... Well, remember, we proved that Wesker was still alive in the current universe. You are correct. We did prove that. Because remember, in Umbrella... <laughs> okay, this is going to be really fucking okay, right, right, I'm sorry, Maru. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so this if you is, play this Operation... Is, this, is, this is the real final game theory. <laughs> So if you, okay, so, all right, fucking, okay. Matt Pat had to retire because this was too good. <laughs> go, so, go. like, okay, so, in you remember uh, Umbrella Core, the esports shooter version of fucking Resident Evil? Sure. So, since that takes place in a, you know, current day timeline, uh, in one scene, um, Wesker uh, is call, is giving you voice commands, and so that proves that he's actually alive Somewhere. during the... 
post Resident Evil 5. Like, somewhere he's still alive. We don't know where it slots into the timeline. We just know that at some point after 5, he is indeed alive. I'm not even fucking with you. This is a, this is a thing, dude. This is a this is a fucking actual thing. And this is in this is in the fucking Operation Umbrella game, Corp. Yeah. Umbrella, oh yeah, it's Umbrella yeah. Corp. Not Operation okay. Raccoon City. All right, the game that's delisted. Right, the game that you cannot play anymore. That that's where the the huge. I, I mean, you could, you could still buy Umbrella Corp. There's just not another player online. <laughs> right. You would have to play with bots until you eventually got to the point that. Uh, that Albert Wesker gives you that line. I think it's safe to say that's just like not canon. No, no, no. Uh, no, it's, it's canon. canon. How? How is that canon? It's it's the fucking dude. umbrella cord. It's it's part of the fucking story. It's their training regimen, dude. Yeah, no, yeah. so it's, it's fucking uh, it's part of a training. Re- well, maybe it's a recording. Who the fuck knows? Oh, so you're going to record the God King Albert Wesker and just fucking have it? A- Come on now. Sure, why not? Trained by Andrew. PC games. It's Metal Gear Solid 2 again. Dude, all right, like one eight hundred dog, you're captain right now. What do you mean? That's part of the story. Dude. It's, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, it's just like a like a fucking three D train because okay, they're gonna fly them to the Ganados fucking uh, village to like train. No, it's gonna be they're gonna take fucking data from missions and stuff and make three D models of that so they can just make everyone VR sets so they can practice in there. With the fucking, it's AI Wesker, dude. Fuck it. And now, and now, who's defending the shitty Resident Evil game? <laughs> hey, I'm trying to make it make sense. That's it. I just want to make sense. a damn thing that makes I'm sense, telling you, though. you can't make it. You can't make sense of this whole. The the thing about the Resident Evil storyline is like, I don't think it should ever be rebooted. But dear God, it's in such a fucked situation right now. <laughs> I'm gonna be it's real like, with you. Resident Evil storyline. I watched. I've I've seen your video on uh, Metal Gear Solid. I swear to God, Resident Evil has a more convoluted story at times than Metal no. Gear does. No, no, no Resident really. Evil's stupid. Metal Gear is like fucking... In- bro- yeah, here's insane. the thing. Here's go, the thing. Yeah, go ahead. I can, I can follow the Metal Gear story. There are times where I'm taking 90 degree turns. Okay, what, taking... happened in, okay what, what happened in Operation Snake Eater? But dude, I don't know that right now. Not off what the top of my head. What a thrill. You don't know what happened to the game. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. Like, What about the virtuous mission? What happens? Yeah, dude. The, dude, I'd have to rewatch the damn sh- movie. or your Yeah, your movie. Tanker How many numbers do the scissors need? fuck should i know this i've only played what do you game. mean you should have, remember when arsenal gear went fucking cra- see that's the thing you can't say metal gear is like less convoluted metal gear is fucking convoluted as shit oh, yeah what day were you like traveling to the east and you saw a flashing light i think it was last thursday mm-hmm. yeah that's it yeah, so, but like, but here's the okay, dude, dude, you can't, you can't even fucking. Do you play Metal Gear? So what? What Metal Gear games did you play? One, right? One and two. Fucking Ghost Babel. Oh, you beat two? I I got towards the end of it. Well, if you well, you should have. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to know what you got. <laughs> well, you got towards the <laughs> end. Huh? What what happened towards the end? I, mean, I, I can tell. What was the last thing I you remember? Completed it. It's. Well, for what you started, remember, for what you remember. It's, oh, fuck, dude. This was, I started it back when the last time Muda was here, which was like five fucking years ago. Um, oh, wait four more years, you can get the MGS5 experience then. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. What was the last thing? Elaborate. God, I'm trying to remember what I remember. That's the problem, dude. It's been five fucking years, like. I don't remember much of it. I just know I got to the end of it. If I booted up my PlayStation on the shelf with the... Do you remember Raiden naked? I don't think so. Did right, you, then you did not Ra- get to the end of did it. Did you play us Raiden in that game? Dude, I don't fucking remember. Actually, I believe you did. I did. Okay, so I got... Because you're going to say yeah. no. It's like, oh my god, this guy didn't even complete his <laughs> tanker. You to the beginning. <laughs> now, that, now that you say that, I do know that I switched characters. Okay. Yeah, he did played you... for he played at least for 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah. did yeah. you defuse bombs with coolant? Yeah, yep. I remember that. Okay, see, that's it's an like easy maybe... response, but you can't remember anything else. 
Did you fight the guy with the rollerblades? Yes. Did you swim through a flooded area with a girl? I don't remember that part. Yeah, you don't even get yeah, to halfway of the game. I'm going to be real with you. I made it farther than I might have thought I did. I don't know. I'd have to launch that uh, PlayStation again and with the memory card and see where what where I left off there. You can do it and put a picture here. Dude, I, yeah, you know what? I will. I'll I'll launch it and see where I was. I gotta find the cords for it. It's currently a, it's currently a uh, look and see place. I, I would say just fucking emulate it, but like you know, we know your track <laughs> record of like trying to fucking set Did up I an emulator. Have a PS2 emulator set up. I just can't. I just can't download the game because that's legal. Well, but you have the case. You can back it up yourself. Dude, buy. Wait, what are you talking? Buy the master okay, collection on right. Steam. Uh, oh, yeah. actually. Didn't you say don't do? It? <laughs> uh, isn't the master collection trash? <laughs> oh yeah, it is. But I mean, it's, if you if you if you don't want to go through the effort of emulating, sure. I do have a PS3 disc over here with. Uh... It looks like it's the Metal Gear Solid HD collection. Oh God, I. But I, I don't have, have a still. PS3. Have you don't have your PS3? No, I don't have a PS3. Do you have the a computer, though? The only reason I bought that was just kind of collection. Wait, yeah, actually, uh, RPCS3, you can run Res uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 in there perfectly. And Peace yeah. Walker, which we did. We did. Yes, we did. So I guess I've technically, we didn't beat it, but I've technically played 3. Mm, no, no, me and Maru, mm. we, 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 we got to it. Yeah. I didn't I didn't beat it, but I definitely played it, so that was actually one of the more fun experiences I've had playing Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, because we were just fucking being idiots with like different colors of snake. I, <laughs> one was blue, oh, yeah, the other dude. red, the other yellow, we, and we were just we shooting. Were the mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <laughs> that was uh, so stupid. That was beautiful though. No, dude, I don't know, like I don't know what to tell you. I Resident Evil storyline. There's just something so stupidly beautiful about it. Because you're right, they don't wreck on anything. All they do is introduce Mega My Seats to explain everything. Like when you tell me about the the show taking place in the same universe, I cannot just imagine real life a dude dying in a volcano. With a missile to his head, shot, shot by a billionaire CEO that moments before punched the boulder <laughs> into fire. That, that's real life, apparently. Dude, it's so funny. Imagine the Sigma male podcast jerking off Chris Redfield. <laughs> Andrew Tate looks up to this man. All the, all the Sigma memes are just Chris Redfield, the CEO PMC dude. Also dude it's, it's just yeah it's like it's like how do you have an andrew tate in that universe when like chris <laughs> literally exists i also looked it up just because i was curious turns out what you're referencing with that uh albert gun that's just the name of the gun the round that they're using is called the ramrod the cum okay um, the no, ram no. ranch no no it's a it's a Mycedo toxic bullet, I guess, mm. that has no cum in it whatsoever. Oh, yeah, I know. I was really, I was really fucking upset when I read that there was no, that there was like no Albert Wesker DNA in it, or uh, oh, God forbid, Jake DNA. It doesn't exist, dude. It's just a big dude. I, I'm cum. convinced that Jake was just a figment of Sherry's imagination. Probably so. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. She was infected with the uh, with the mold, and she was hallucinating. Yeah, that I, I think that oh. works. <sighs> I think we can start wrapping up. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, it's been good. Good little. You can good edit. little. Uh, you can edit this part episode. out. All right. Oh. That oh, was the yeah. end of this episode. It's been good fun. Uh, whoever it was that decided to subscribe this earlier this week and ruin our subscriber number being on 69. 
and sick. Uh, I love you. But that being said, I hate you. Damn, just like that. For you. I just wanted to cancel it out. I don't want your love to like just permeate this whole thing. I am neutral <laughs> to the situation. There you go.